Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So if you have not subscribed to the channel, please subscribe to the channel. So I've noticed that 95% of my channel viewers have not subscribed to the channel. Please subscribe and share it among your friends. All right. So in this video, as you have already seen the thumbnail, so we are going to discuss about one of the magic IP address of the entire cloud world called 169.264.169.254. So we are going to look into the significance of this IP address, how to make use of this IP address and where can we make use of this IP address. Okay. So first let us understand what is the idea behind this. Okay. So the IP address, basically it is called as the metadata endpoint. So this IP address is called as magic IP in the cloud world. Okay. So in AWS, specifically in AWS, it is used to retrieve user data and instance metadata. Metadata means date of the EC2 instance and user data means, so the user data or the you know it is a script or some of the commands that you pass in while the booting of the ec2 instance okay so you will use this particular ip address in aws to retrieve user data and ec2 instance metadata specific to that particular ec2 instance okay so and one more thing is it can only be accessed locally from the ec2 instance that means only inside the ec2 instance you can access this particular ip address okay so it is available without any encryption and authentication okay so how can you access this so it can be accessed by using curl command like this so curl http colon slash slash 169.254.169.264 so you are going to use the latest api call and let us see uh, what we will get when uh, we run this command okay so let us go to the ec2 console and see how can we access that okay right now i'm in my aws console and i have created one ec2 instance with the name test ec2 metadata okay so this is the summary of the ec2 instance if you do not know how to create an ec2 instance i have created a separate video i will drop the link to that in the description you can go ahead and watch that video okay so now let us try to connect this ec2 instance using the ec2 instance method okay so i'll go and click on connect and click on connect again it will take some time to establish the connection so let's wait for it right now i was able to log into this particular machine okay so now let us run this curl command curl with the ip address okay so i am going to copy and paste it here okay so let me hit enter after hitting enter you can use either dynamic or metadata metadata or user data so you will be able to get these information right now i have not configured user data but let us see inside metadata what we what we have okay let me copy metadata and rerun this command after slash add metadata at the end and also add one more slash so the previous command that we ran is still here okay now i've added metadata again okay so let me hit enter now if you see now you get this much of information right so you have this much of information about this particular ec2 instance so the one that you see with the slash it has got much more information but if you see the values or the things that are with without ending slash right so that is direct values for example ami id right so let us run for ami id okay let me copy paste <clears throat> so at the end go ahead and add this ami id so it will give you it will fetch you the ami id that you are using if you see 
this is the AMI ID and this is ending with 32376. Let us verify from the EC2. Okay, so let me go back. So let me click on here. And if you see the AMI ID, okay, so it is ending with 32376. Okay, so now let us check one more. So for security group, okay, so let me copy security groups, copy, and let me rerun this with security group instead of AMI ID okay so let me paste it and run now if you see it is giving you the security group ID or the security group name that is being used launch wizard one right so let me go back and go to security if you see the name of the security group is launch wizard one right so like that you can fetch more details about this EC2 instance right you can also fetch details about user data so what is the user that, let's say you have forgot so what the user data that you have used so if you want to go back and look into it you can use this particular IP address along with the curl command and get more information about your user data okay so that is it for today's video so if you like the content please subscribe to this channel and share it among your friends thank you